Hi everyone, today we talk about human body radiation counter. Yeah, this big metal thing on your screen. Everything starts over here, Kiev uh, near Zhitomorska station. Yeah, this counter was used a lot after the Chernobyl nuclear accident for the liquidators and for the people who were victims of the accident. So it starts from the outside observation. Doctors over here and specialists, yeah, they check the amounts of radiation uh, in your hair mostly, on your palms, on your legs to exclude the outside contamination that you, have, that, that you have on your skin because we need to precisely get measurement of your insides, yeah? the amount of radioactive isotopes in your body, yeah? in your muscles, in your bones. Yeah, you are checked a bit on, on the chair, yeah, it's not very precise, so just to give you an idea how much radiation you have. It's one sensor in the back. And here is inside of the big sensor. Six sensors under the bed, yeah, the chest sensor on the right, and the moving sensor on the left for the cases if we need to get really precise data from every centimeter of your body. Room of whole body counter was made from low background steel in order to bring the background level to the lowest possible amount because all the steel produced after the first nuclear explosion was contaminated by radioactive cobalt, carbon and cesium. In order to get the low background steel you have to lift up ships from steel which were sunk before, which were produced before the first nuclear explosion and remelt them. In this way you would get the cleanest steel possible because right now we pump a lot of air through the steel during the process and we contaminate it anywhere with new isotopes. Only this kind of steel could be used in precise measurements. Chest sensor mounted on the chest for us for guides of exclusion zone because we have higher possibility to inhale some radioactive isotopes. Here we can see two peaks. The left one is for uh, cesium-137 and the right one is for potassium-40. Yeah, we always have radioactive isotopes inside. This guy on the bed is my friend um, Christian Manchik. Yeah, he is from Poland. He's Polish tour operator. We can see that he loves radiation and he's been in many, many radioactive places. Here was his first time and we can see that 79 Beccarelli and 0.002 millisieverts per year, which is nothing. Yeah, he receives more from potassium, which he has in his body, from the bananas and nuts and everything. For people not working with sources of ionizing radiation, yearly dose should be under 2 millisieverts. Christian, after all his visits, received 1,000th of that dose from anthropogenic cesium-137 and 1,20th of that dose from natural potassium-40. Here is me, I'm guide in exclusion zone, so I've been there many, many times. I've been in nuclear power plant, in under new safe confinement. I was in Fukushima exclusion zone illegally, so yeah, here are my measurements. 173 Beccarelli, 0.006 per year. I have 218 after a few years, 0.007. Yes, yeah, so my peaks are a tiny bit higher of cesium, but it's still nothing. 173, 218, it's still a small amount. Yeah. Here is the chest sensor. Everything is made by hand. Yeah, it's not standardized. They always they change it, they tune it from time to time. So basically this is invention. Yeah, it's not something you just buy in a big store. It's a really cool thing to, to have here in Kiev. We can see that even after so many visits, we still have pretty low levels of contamination because it's pretty hard to inhale something radioactive right now. Most of the contamination would come from eating berries, mushrooms, drinking milk, and a lot of locals who live on the northern parts of Ukraine, even outside of exclusion zone, they come here for the checks and people who are involved in the accident, they also pass checks here regularly. 4038 Beccarelli, which gives you 0 0.122 and the peak is pretty big. Yeah, this is already not very good for your health. Here is the guy with the cobalt lung ingestion, with radioactive cobalt, and we can see that most of cobalt is in his chest. Yeah, because it's lung ingestion. Here is cobalt and mangan. Also, everything is lungs. Yeah, so it's lung ingestion. It's not in the body. We can see there is nothing in the legs. And this is another cool place. This is the phantom storage. So these weird blue thingies 
These are actually kind of parts of the bodies. They are filled with contaminated peas. They are used for calibration of the sensor because uh, scientists know how much exactly radiation this body part gives. This is the body of the kids. They are different sizes. There are small kids, teenagers and adults. Yeah, we can see here on the picture. And this is used for calibration. Yeah, pretty interesting thing. This is different part of calibration. These holes are made for isotope rods. Yeah, so you can come here and check your body. It's a Zhytomyrska station in Kiev. Yeah, I would leave the contacts under the video. Thanks for watching.